If you are looking for a bench power supply that is compact, convenient, and versatile, you might want to check out the new SmartBench PSU. This device is not your typical bulky and heavy power supply that takes up a lot of space on your workbench. It is a very small unit that can be powered by any USB-C phone charger, making it easy to use anywhere. You can also store it in a drawer when you're not using it, saving you valuable space. The SmartBench PSU has a smart LCD interface that lets you adjust the voltage and current settings, monitor the output and battery status, and access various modes and features. It is a great tool for hobbyists, makers, students, and professionals who need a reliable and portable power supply for their project. First, we have the case that houses the PD module, XT30 connector, and the quick charge module. The PD module, once connected to a PD charger, will output 15 volts at up to 100 watts. The XT30 C Venectro is used as an auxiliary input that can power up the PSU if you don't want to use the PD module. Additionally, we have the Q3.0 USB output, which is taking its power from the PD module and outputting through a USB type AQ3.0 protocol. Moving on to the PCU controller, we have an LCD screen and a rotary encoder, which can be used as an interface. We're not going to go too much over this as you can find all the details on the web page. Then we have some banana connectors which are going to be connected here, along with a resistor for the LED indicator and some wires. Now, let's get started with the wiring. We pick the red and blue wire and cut it to the right length. The length is not exact, it's just an approximation. We strip the insulation off the wire. We stripped the insulation off the wires and soldered them onto the XT30 connector. We need to pay attention to the polarity when soldering the wires, as the flat side of the XT30 module is the positive side. We don't want to keep the soldering iron too long on the connector, as it can melt the casing. Then we put the heat shrink over the connector and we have a very nice assembly. Next, we soldered the PD module, making sure to connect the red wire to the positive terminal and the blue wire to the negative terminal.
The last step is connecting the wires to the Q3.0 module. This yellow strip is a thermal tape and is for protecting the case from overheating and burns during QC module soldering. Input side of the circuit is now completed. As we said in the beginning, the PD module is in parallel with the auxiliary input and is feeding the quick charge module in order to have a USB output on the front. The rest of the wires will be connected to the controller on the input side. In the next episode, we're going to have a look at how to wire up the output circuit. Thank you for watching.